Skyrim's new paid mods, dubbed Creations, have been out for a couple weeks now. Just last week, I was finally able to safely update my copy of Anniversary Edition on PC. Today will be the first in a series, or mini-series, of videos, in which I'll be showing off some of these new paid mods, which will be part gameplay and part review. For any and all of these videos, I'll discuss the price of each creation being covered, show off how you start the quest, as well as other notable parts of it, and at the end I'll give a review of what I've played, explaining if I personally found it to be worth the price tag, going over pros, cons, Yada yada. And with these being paid products, I am holding them to a higher standard than I would for the free Skyrim mods that I usually cover. And uh, what might be the most important part to some of you watching this, at the end of the video I will also recommend free mods that set out to do something similar, in case you decide you might not want to purchase what's being shown off. To kick things off, today we're taking a look at the East Empire expansion by King Gath who some of you might know best for sim settlements for Fallout 4. Considered one of the biggest and best quest mods for the game, Sim Settlements and its sequel, Sim Settlements 2, set out to completely overhaul settlements, with new management systems, menus, and more, along with its own main questline, in which you play a role in the reconstruction of the Commonwealth. East Empire expansion seems to draw upon some of these ideas, giving you the ability to join the down-on-its-luck East Empire company in a brand new questline. In this new story, you help the company set up in the various holds across Skyrim, gaining the favor of the Jarls in order to do so. As you clear out bandit camps, mines, and ruins, the East Empire Company will be able to move in and set up work sites, with you getting a nice little cut of the profits. Currently, this is the largest of the creations in size and scope, and also sits at the highest cost of 700 credits, which comes to approximately 7 US dollars. To begin, you'll need to clear a hostile location, such as a bandit camp. For this video, I cleared out Embershard Mine, and the quest giver was waiting for me when I stepped back outside. Ah, hello. I offer greetings to you, yes? Khajiit asks but for a moment of your time. Well, you got it, of course. How may I help you? Your warm words are appreciated. Please allow me to explain my encroachment. First of all, my name is Shagar. I work for an organization known as the East Empire Trading Company. This area I was busy surveying. When, to my surprise, I see someone enter this dungeon in a manner most brazen. Why, thank you. And more surprising still, to see you emerge clearly victorious. Uh, victorious may be an overstatement. I just did what I must, kill a bunch of bandits. You said you'd explain yourself, not bore me to tears. Those who stand in my way shall fall. I'm already impressed by the amount of dialogue options. Uh, Victorious is an overstatement. I just had a need to murder. Your humility is well practiced. There are few who possess the prowess you have demonstrated. During your venture, I'm sure you came across many trinkets and items of value. These places are usually filled with such. Well, it's a starter dungeon. But some items you had to leave behind, yes? It is uh, impractical to carry out all that we might like. This is why I approach. Shagar wishes to offer you a service to assist with this problem. Uh, okay, what is this? service. I do like, it's like, take your sales pitch elsewhere, because it does come across as a little bit of a sales pitch, obviously. In short, if you are to gather and then store all the items you wish to take from a place such as this, Shagar can ensure collection and delivery of all these items, allowing you to take your fill of plunder. This is the service I offer. And, yeah, can you elaborate? What do you mean by collection and delivery? I can explain. Of all the treasure, armor, weapons, and shiny baubles you wish to take from somewhere, usually this would require much feeling and emptying of pockets, many a journey to and from, much time and effort spent. True. What I offer is a service to alleviate this burden. All you'd need to do is gather everything you wanted to a single place. 
and then I would arrange couriers to pick up all these items and deliver them to a secure and easily accessed strongbox for your future retrieval. Okay, and what do you want in return? He works for the East Empire Company, so I can understand, you know, he's getting some compensation already. You are wise to know I would want something. Yes, in exchange for providing you this service. I would ask that you allow my group, the East Empire Company, to lay a temporary claim to any territory you have cleared. Once an area has been purged of hostile presence, I would dispatch a clerk to survey and catalog the site's value. Mm -hmm. But do not misunderstand. We would not be taking any items or treasure. Through your efforts, these, of course, would belong to you. You want to survey and catalog the places I clear? Why? There is value to places beyond the objects held within. For example, its location may have strategic importance. There may be natural resources or historical and cultural significance to the area. These things have worth. But first, these aspects must be correctly identified and then recorded. It is a matter of bureaucracy, one might say. That is why I wish to lay a temporary claim to these places. Well, I believe your terms are fair, and I agree. Ah, this news is wonderful. You have made a good decision, I think. Here, you must take these. I was going to say, how do I do this now? Place the relic inside a container, and I'll be made aware of its location and of your desire for the items held within to be transported. Oh, Anything okay. gathered will be moved to an East Empire trade camp for your future collection. Of course, right now, there is only the one camp. But in time, there shall be more. Uh, very well, I shall put these devices to good use. What are these devices you've given me? Hmm. I am unsure. It is something discovered by my business associate. But he too knows little of them. Probably dwarven. What we do know is that the relic you hold react with another kind of apparatus. One that I have right here. When roused, the relic I gave you behave as... Uh, beacons. Emitting bright light into a dark sky. I speak figuratively, of course. The apparatus that I hold allows me to see where that light is coming from and acts much like a compass, guiding me to the light source. Your Empire Company only has one trade camp? Well, the Empire is not doing great either. Have you seen them lately? Mm, to be more exact, officially, the camp is not truly a part of the East Empire's mercantile presence in Skyrim. At least not yet. Instead, the current camp, and the more that shall be built, represent a personal endeavor. But have no fear. In time, there shall be more camps. I'd bet my whiskers on it. All right, I will put these devices to good use. Shakar has certainty that you will. I like you, Shakar. Also, I should mention, any area in which you use a relic must be either cleared of any hostile creatures or be out within the open. Otherwise, my couriers will be unable to gather what you have stored. And remember... Once collected, your items will be available from any current or future trade camp you send them to. Hmm. Have you understood all I have said? I think so. If you wish, we can test out a relic right now, so you may see how they work. I appreciate the tutorial. I appreciate that it's an optional tutorial. Yes, a demonstration would be welcome. The demonstration shall be nice and simple. Yes. Like me. First, take this. We can use this junk for our test. You just carry some junk now, around? let us enter an area you have cleared. Or, for that matter, any other place with a container we can use. Then, all you need to do oh, is place thanks. that junk and the relic inside of a suitable receptacle. Lead on, and I shall follow. Well, we just cleared, um... Ember Shard Mine, so why not go in there? What I like is that he specifies containers, so it doesn't have to be a chest specifically. So, for instance, it could even be... Yeah, it 
in theory, should work even just for this sack, which I'm going to try that out. I'm going to see if that works. Add additional items to the container that you'd like to have delivered to you. Uh, yeah, I'll just throw some extra stuff in here. Oh, and then it glows. Ah, okay. Good. I now detect you wish I pick up and delivery. Usually, I would send a courier for this. But since I am already here, <laughs> there. Now everything I have, and these items shall be returned to camp. You are free to follow me if you wish. See to where your items will be delivered. Yeah, uh, why not? As you desire. Follow me then. Once again, the optional tutorial is good because this is something that I wanted to do now, my first time playing it, but if I'm playing, like, on a, a second character, if I've already done this before, I can just say, no, 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 I, I get how it works, and I can say, like, I'll meet you at your camp and stuff like that, so... That's been taken into account, which I do appreciate. I had to reload a save because Shikar got stuck almost immediately and didn't leave the dungeon. Even waiting hours, even trying to disable him, bump him... Uh, he just kind of stared at a wall and wouldn't move. So I'm hoping that it goes through this time by saying show me to your camp. Otherwise, I'll have to do not right now, travel to your camp in my own time. But I'm hoping that the reload fixed it. As you desire. Follow me then. I had saved, I had reloaded, I tried all the usual troubleshooting methods, but... Okay, you got a little further than this. <laughs> just before you say anything. It's one of those things where I can see that just being a weird kind of glitch because of the fact that this can happen in literally any dungeon, in any ruin, in any location, but uh, definitely not what I want to see. Okay, yep, he immediately went right to the same spot. All right. He got stuck here, um, and you can't talk to him. You can't interact with him at, at all here. This one needs something? What I would like is that... Yep, okay, there he goes. What I would want here is to be able to interact with him and say, you know what, never mind, tell me where your camp is and I'll meet you there. But uh, I, I had waited here for several in-game hours. He never moved from this spot. He just lived here. So, not my favorite. Now, my other concern is that he could, in theory, get stuck at the same point, even if I tell him to go without me. I understand. I shall mark its location for you. Travel there and meet with me when you are ready. May the sands beneath your feet be forever warm. I bid you a farewell. Because my hope here May would you be... you walk in warm sands. Yeah, because this moves the quest stage along, so... I'm hoping that if I go to the camp, he'll teleport there in due time, versus me having to follow him, which means him having to properly path out of here. Alright, so the camp is right outside Whiterun, right by Pelagia Farm. Hello? Need something? Can I see what you have for sale? Of course. Oh, there he is. I see Shikar. Oh, okay. All right. We're good. Okay. So he sells the relics in case I want to stock up, in case I want to, like, rapid fire uh, claim all these different locations, which, you know, you spend money to make money. 100 gold isn't too bad, especially given, you know, how easy it is to make money in the game. So I'll be taking that. Good day. Uh, let's see if this worked. Yep, there's everything. My buckets, my cabbages, my dragon bones, my gold. All the junk that I didn't even want. Well, dragon bone and scales, you know, those sell for something. You see how everything is in the delivery chest, yes? Everything is to your satisfaction. You know what is? Uh, everything's here. I had up for a few extra gems, uh would find their way into the chest. I just want to see what he has to say. Ah, that is something we all hope for. Okay, I like that. Sadly, the storage chest only contains items we used for testing. But who knows? Perhaps next time, there will be some extra knickknacks inside. Courtesy of the East Empire Company. 
But before that, a question. If you have the desire for more relics, you can acquire them from any East Empire merchant. Oh, I, I did. I will ensure they always keep some in stock. Yeah, I, I took the nine. For now, here, take oh. these. Oh, On the house. Okay. But uh, all this said, I still fear there is more I can offer. Well, I've got twelve of them now. Forgive Akajit's curiosity, only would you perhaps be interested in more services? More services? Like I said, he really is just the go-getter. Uh, it depends. What is it that you're offering me? Oop, oop, your step on the fire. You have already seen how my collection service works, and this is good. But maybe there will be times that possession of all you have gathered is not what you desire. Okay. Perhaps you would prefer the item's value in septims instead. But for this, you must gather what you wish to sell and find merch and haggle for oh, price, watch out for the blah, fire. blah, 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 big headache. Okay, he's not wrong, though. However, Shakar can do all this for you instead. I offer service of selling. Put items in container, and instead of marking for collection, mark for sale. And everything I can take care of. Uh, does this interest you? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. You have my attention. Explain further. Of course, my friend. Allow my elaboration. More salesmen need to be like him. You have already used the relics to mark items for collection, and the results you have seen. However, with a few manipulations to the relic, a container can be marked so I will know you wish the items to be sold instead of just collected. In a situation such as this, I would have my courier bring back your items, and I would begin to find buyers right away. You get almost as much coin as if you sold yourself, and with none of the headache or time wasted. Uh, sounds most useful. I would have a use for such a service. Hold on, doesn't sound like uh, you get much of a cut. What's the catch here? Uh, you notice this. Your shrewdness serves you well. I'm yes. something of a businessman Outside myself. Outside of trade expenses, I will be skimming nothing from the sale of your items. This will maximize your personal profit. Why would I do this, you ask? Simple. By being the one to sell your items, I establish reputation as a merchant able to acquire and move inventory. If applied correctly, this reputation has more value than coin. Yeah, let's do that. Because I... I don't know about you, but even early on in the game, I would be much more interested in doing all this. Even on a new character, even at the start of the game, uh, just having a much easier way of having everything traded in, that's much more appealing to me than a collection box. Ah, wonderful. A decision most discerning. And something that shall benefit us both, I think. If you wish for me to sell what you have gathered, when placing a relic, simply mark the container. This will indicate to me your intent. And once collected, I will begin to sell your items right away. Or you can simply speak to one of our camp merchants if you wish me to sell something else. Any coin made shall be stored in one of our company's strong boxes. You can find this also at our outposts. Here, you will need this key to open. All right, I appreciate your work. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Oh, and before you take your leave, there is one more thing. If you are so inclined, there is something you could help me with. I'm listening. <laughs> After all this, imagine you're just like, I have no interest in helping you. It's like, no, why wouldn't I? I have a business associate. He is not one for travel and so resides at the East Empire Company warehouse in solitude. Both he and I have certain aspirations we are working towards. However, I fear with your help, things would advance a lot faster and smoother. If you've the time and desire, you should travel to solitude and speak with him. I'm sure he would have use for your assistance. He should be easy to find. He's a rather self-important looking Altmer named Corin. Tell him I have sent you. And thank you. With your help, 
Ahead, I see a warm future for us all. Oh, I see you got that curved sword. Ah, yes. Hello to you. You'll have to forgive me, I'm rather preoccupied. Thus, I have no desire for idle chit-chat. Yes, I see staring at a dead pheasant is really eating up a lot of your time. Well, you're Corin, yes? Shakar asked me to speak with you, you self-important Altmer. Oh. So you're the one Shikar spoke of in his latest correspondence. I'm surprised that Nord would agree to speak to one such as Shikar, let alone agree to assist with his efforts. Very interesting. I feel like you're really not one to talk. But yes, you were correct in your observation. I am indeed Corin. A pleasure, I'm sure. Now, if Shikar sent you here, that likely means he thinks you of use to us. And I see no reason to question this. Tell me, did the enterprising young Khajiit explain the nature of his and my endeavor? East Empire expansion. He spoke of your intention to sell ice to Nord's big money, I hear. <laughs> uh, he mentioned something about you being business associates. Of course. Why bother explaining things when he can make his partner do it instead? Shikar likes to refer to us as business associates, but in truth, we're both merely junior traders of the East Empire Company. Right now, both he and I are on the lowest rungs of the mercantile ladder. But, we've agreed to help each other accelerate our commercial career. From what I understand, in exchange for his services, you've already begun assisting Shikar. His little project is rather simple, but I'll admit, quite creative. I personally would have never thought to utilize the relics in the way he has. My plans, however, are a little more ambitious, and I would welcome your assistance. You see, the East Empire's position in Skyrim is tenuous. Our presence is tolerated at best, and we're severely limited in our operations. Officially, I'm not even sure we're sanctioned to be here. So, as you can imagine, our profit margin is as diluted as the wine at the Winking Skeever. But, if we had the approval to do business directly from a Yarl, we'd then be free to expand our activities within each hold. Solidifying the East Empire's position, creating profit for all concerned, not to mention demonstrating our worth to our employers. And so, I've been attempting to arrange unofficial meetings, so that we may come to an understanding with the many Yarls of this vast province. Unofficial meetings? Eh, probably the only kind that can get results. Are you sure you've not run a business before? With a temperament like that, I wouldn't be surprised if you had. Anyhow, I doubt you'll be surprised to hear most Jarls want nothing to do with an upstart High Elf under the employ of a foreign organization. Nevertheless, we have had interest from at least one hold. The Jarl of Winterhold, Courier, has agreed to speak with us. Winterhold is generally viewed as one of the more desolate holds, a pale shadow of its former glory, which may explain their willingness to talk. I was intending to speak with Winterhold's Jarl myself, but I feel you may get better results. Your Nord blood will provide you with a far more favorable disposition. So, what I ask of you is this. Visit Winterhold on my behalf, and attempt to acquire the Jarl's approval for our presence within their hold. In exchange, I will provide you a percentage of the wealth and materials we will acquire as a result. Sound fair? Here, take this. Oh no, he wants me to do I've homework. I've already done some research into this particular Jarl, and I have the feeling that book I gave you, if offered as a gift, may help smooth negotiations to our favor. Okay, good. I thought he wanted me to read it. However, if you feel other tactics may be more apt, I will refer to your judgment. Just get the Jarl to agree to our presence within their hold. All right, I'll head to Winterhold at once. <laughs> Very good. I wish you luck. Oh, and have this, too. Oh, okay. That ring marks you as someone empowered to speak on our behalf. It'll also get you a discount with most merchants. 
Enjoy. Now we're talking. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Uh, I was wondering if it was going to be a unique item. It's not, but... That could have been nice. It could have been nice if that had maybe the, you know, the crest of the East Empire. Uh, similar to the East Empire pendants that you find in Soul Slime. Just have that be, you know, where the gem is. That would have been, you know, a nice touch, I think. Psst. Hey, that ring. You're working with Corin, right? Oh, uh... I've got more intel for him. Might as well give it to you. Don't worry, it's on the house. All right. Shady contact. The word around town is that Jarl Korir has got a real bone to grind with a local mage college. If you want to get on his good side, try bad-mouthing them in his presence. Who knows? Might help your negotiation. <laughs> okay. In my experience, Jarls love bootleggers, agreeing with them. But whatever. You do what you want. Have fun. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. I'm here representing the East Empire Company. They wish to operate within your hold. You have my attention. Uh, ooh, I can haggle, I can give them the gift. You are very wise to invite the East Empire Company into your hold. I'm not going to use illusion on him, it seems like a terrible idea. No, here's a book. Also, mages suck. This one's a favorite of mine. Oh, see, I knew. Oh, I knew. So we have a deal? The East Empire Company has your blessing? I feel like I'm jumping to that a little fast. And by all means, go about your business. Okay. <sighs> I... I... I think it's funny how short that was because... I, I would have expected it to be longer only because of the shady contact. I've already received word. Winterhold has agreed to our presence. Well done. Just takes a little bribery, some books, I must you say, know. I'm very pleased with your progress. Competence can be such a rare commodity these days. Uh, the was eager. I just offered a little encouragement. You were wise to send me. Uh, keep the praise to yourself. I didn't do this for a pat on the head. No, I'm um just gonna say yeah. He was eager. Offered a little encouragement. A book, literature. You've done well. We'll now be able to build a camp within Winterhold's borders, expanding our operations. But this is just the start. We need the blessing of more holds. If you'd be willing, I'd ask you to keep representing the East Empire. Speak to more Jarls and gain their favor. The more holds that agree to our terms, the more that we can do for you. Uh, of course. You'll have my help. I'm pleased to hear this. There are eight more Jarls that will need convincing, but I doubt they'll be as receptive as Courier. I'd advise you not to be narrow-minded with your approach to gaining approval. There are plenty of ways to twist a person's arm. If you've the need, I can supply intel to aid you. Just check the ledger at an outpost after visiting a hold's capital, and I'll provide what I can. Travel the province, speak to the Arls, get as many to accept our presence as you are able. White Run already has a camp, but we'll still need the blessing of the local Jarl. Okay, I was wondering about that. Oh, and don't forget our furry friend Shikar. Be sure to keep assisting him as well. Well, that's all for now. I wish you luck on your assignment. Farewell. You have helped Corin, and the East Empire has a new outpost. Wonderful this is. This allows me to extend a new service to you, for you can now decide where items you have placed to the relic can be sent to. After you have activated a relic, simply mark the container to tell us where you wish those items to go. White Run, Winterhall, wherever. As long as the East Empire has an outpost established, you can have the items sent to there. Or if you'd prefer, you need not indicate any location. In which case, the items will be transported to the nearest outpost instead, just as before. Uh, I got it. Thank you. Keep up the good work and we shall all benefit. 
Now, interestingly enough, he said there were eight holds left, which means we somehow don't have the approval of Solitude or Windhelm, the two places with East Empire company offices. Okay, White Wind Progress, Mines Controlled, Sites Controlled, or Treasure Shipment, zero, my cut, zero, finances, items sold, profit made, and cut to date. All right. Vignar is not as well liked as he may think. Yeah, he's not. Local opposition to his leadership grows daily. I hear naysayers to his rule often gather at the local inn. The Jarl seems to have been doing poorly with his family finances as of late. This may be something you could hold over him if you can find proof. Perhaps you could find such proof at his home. Alright, time for a little, uh, espionage then. I speak for the East Empire Company. They wish to operate freely in your hold. You have a request of me? <laughs> this should be interesting. Speaking as Thane, this would surely encourage trade within... Winterhold. Wait. Within Winterhold. Whiterun. Uh, Haggle. Illusion. So it's the same... Um, or not the same three options every time, but Haggle and Illusion will always be there. I'm wondering if it's similar to Persuasion, where it needs to be a certain level, or, you know, the higher the level, the better the chance. Uh, this is one thing that, if I'm Thane, I would hope that that does make things at least slightly easier. Well, if you say so. So, you agreed to their request? Yes, yes, goodbye. Alright. And obviously it's the thing of... They're using vanilla lines for the Jarls because there's no way they're going to be able to get new voice lines from the original voice actors. So essentially, if you are the Thane uh, for each and every hold, that might be a guaranteed way of moving this along. So it really depends on where you are in the playthrough uh, of how easy or difficult some of this might be. So here's the thing. I'm going to take a look around the Blue Palace to see if we can find something to persuade Elisif. But I spent a good... 10 minutes looking around House Greymane, and I saw nothing. I saw not a single thing. Uh, I checked every sack, I checked every uh, chest, every wardrobe, every cabinet, and I saw nothing at all. So, what I'm almost wondering is for the rest of the Yarls, does me being Thane maybe skip? these other steps that we find within these notes. And the reason I say that, because I also went to the inn and I didn't see any naysayers there either. I also, I checked both the Bannered Mare and um, Drunken Huntsman and I saw no one at either. Okay, here we go. Note to Ellis of the Fair, I assume this is what I'm looking for. I regret that the thief has eluded us. We suspect your husband's crown has been stolen. Lady Elisif, I regret that the thief has eluded us. We suspect your husband's crown was stolen to be sold in the black market. Our sources name a potential involved party named Rockgut, a scoundrel known to reside at the Silverblood Inn in Markarth. Okay, so... We do get to do, um this stage of the quest, then we do get to get involved a little bit more here, then. So there's no Rotgut here. Oh, there's his letter. I just knew exactly where that was. Okay. You're to relocate to Sydney Mine. This is as much for your safety as anything else. Your contact will get themselves arrested and meet you at the bottom of the mine. They'll give you the passphrase, then you hand over the key. Oh. Anyone who bothers you, you kill them. The guards won't interfere. Tell the contact the key opens a strongbox at Liar's Retreat. And in that strongbox, they'll find the merchandise. 
Okay. <laughs> For a second, um, I thought I... Well, I'm gonna have to go to Sydney Mine, because I need the key. I'm sorry. Guard might get nervous. <laughs> a woman approaches with her weapon drawn. You should be nervous. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh. You're pushing your luck. Really? I'm not going to warn you again. I, I hope you don't. By order of the Jarl, stop right there. Listen, I just wanted to hit you the one time. All right, all right, take me to jail. It's off to Sidna Mine for you. Oh no, <laughs> whoever would have guessed. What was that? Oh, okay, and immediately... <laughs> I didn't even have a chance to talk to him. Oh. I was hoping I could at least fail at, um, like, the password. I, I was really, really hoping I might be able to fail at knowing what the password was. Give me that key. I need it. Key to Crown Strongbox. Liar's Retreat. Okay. Orcish Dagger of Despair. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna sleep. I'm just gonna <laughs> do my time. Wait. You can't. It's Sidna Mine. <gasps> do you want to serve your time in jail? Yes. The Crown of High King Torg. It does make sense that it's not a unique item. One, because the Jarls and everyone just wear the same circlets all the time anyway, and two, it, it would hurt for it to be a unique item just for you to give it back and then never see it again. It's a fine day with you around. The East Empire seeks your permission to officially operate within your hold, which I don't know why it can't. Oh, really? You have their warehouse right here. Oh. I've recovered the crown of High King Torig. I return it to you. When my husband died, I wasn't sure I could let him go. Now I don't have to. I... I I'm grateful, I... So we have an agreement, then? Very well. The East Empire Company is doing well. In no small part due to your efforts. I'm trying. We now have the infrastructure to start exploiting the natural resources of the locations you have cleared. Okay, Materials there you that were previously unobtainable can now be extracted. And of course, of this you shall get a cut. A happy bonus for all of your assistance. I have instructed our people to deliver your cut to whichever is the nearest outpost, which you can then collect from the delivery container. Or, if you do not wish for the materials, I can instead sell them for you and give you coin instead. I will take the gold. What kind of materials? That depends on the location you have cleared. Sometimes it could be metal ore, clay, or quarried stone. Maybe soul gems or regular gemstones. If there is a forest nearby, perhaps lumber. As I said, it all depends on the location. I'll take the gold. As you wish. I will make the necessary arrangements right away. However, if you change your mind and instead wish for the materials, just speak to one of the merchants at an outpost and they will help you. What you've seen today here on the gameplay section of the video is only a fraction of the mod. Although the intent was to give an idea of the new gameplay loop through collections, mining, and the quests involving the Jarls. But given that you have these miscellaneous quests for each of the nine holds, the questline is a little bit longer and, honestly, a little more involved than I really would have guessed. Given the creation's price at $7, I'm glad that we have the option to do these quests, in which we can either pay off the Jarls or do the more unique tasks for them. I did play more of the mod without live commentary, just in order to see more of the East Empire mining operations, the Jarl's quests, and more. I convinced all the Jarls, some through their quests, others through being Thane. I claimed a handful of new locations, including a few mines, and got to see some of these trading posts grow in size over time. But 
I had a few bugs. First, as you may have noticed during the gameplay segment, Shakar's pathing would break in Embershard Mine, and if you're opting to follow him to the Whiterun camp, that creates a little bit of an issue. In my case, I was able to fix it by reloading and telling him I would meet him there, but for a paid product, this really shouldn't be the case. It's entirely possible that I was just really unlucky and that this is a bug specific to Embershard Mine, in which case, what are the odds of me finding it? But it definitely didn't make for the greatest early impression. One possible solution for this is the ability to interact with Shikar again during this stage, and tell him that you changed your mind and that you'll just meet him at the camp. With a couple of the Jarl's quests, it was honestly hard to tell at times if the quest was working properly or if I really just couldn't find what I was supposed to find. For Vignar, I found nothing in House Greymane, or in Dragon's Reach, in order to strongarm him into taking the deal. If anything, the use of quest markers during some of these quests felt inconsistent as a result. I'll get a marker pointing me to the exact location of Rockgut's letter, but not for the evidence for the other Jarls in their quest. If each Jarl had a named quest that started when you read the note on convincing them, and had more notable markers throughout, this could serve as a way to hopefully address some of these inconsistencies. I think the questline itself could be improved upon, especially in how it distributes quests and the way in which it handles progression. Currently, the creation has a very open-ended approach on convincing the Jarls, but I almost wish it was handled slightly differently. I think Solitude and Windhelm should already have established camps with the East Empire Company, given their warehouses, and instead have it so that Shakar or Corin will send you a letter saying that the Jarls of Windhelm and Solitude are in need of your aid, and that in aiding them, you would be able to increase your profits within those respective holds. And then, for the remaining holds, you would have us convince the Jarls to let us operate there, as the creation currently does. Maybe have it so that you convince the Jarl of Winterhold, and at this point Corin tells you to speak with Shikar, who will then instruct you on clearing a mine and claiming it for the company, in order to help round out this tutorial section of sorts. After this, and getting your first shipment from this mine in Winterhold, Corin could reach out with the next Jarl that he would want you to convince. I think a more structured approach could go a decent way to making the questline have a more notable sense of progression. But I'm also approaching this standpoint and making these suggestions as someone who's playing this creation for the very first time. If you're playing for the second time, or the third time, the more free-flow nature where you can go to any hold, in any order, whenever you want, might work a lot better. I think voice acting was really well done, and it makes me wish that Shikar and Corin played a larger role, offered more quests, and such. I would have liked to see them interact more, and form more of a unified questline akin to one of Skyrim's guilds. And no, it wouldn't have to be as exciting as killing the Emperor or stopping the Eye of Magnus from destroying everything, but having a little bit more of a narrative to tie everything together would have been great. But even still, this feels like a really natural, well-integrated addition to Skyrim. Maybe becoming a traitor doesn't sound interesting to a lot of people, but for me, this really serves as a great way to have other sources of gold in-game. To easily transport extra goods to a designated camp, especially early on in a playthrough, as you're still exploring more, clearing out dungeons for the first time, and discovering each of these holds. I can see this really adding another layer to a full playthrough. I really like that the trade posts improve over time. I love that for the cities on the water, their trade posts are at the docks. I really like that 12 years after Skyrim's release, I finally have a fast travel point for the Windhelm docks. Getting a better profit share as you continue to claim more locations serves as another great incentive to continue using this system. There's a lot of things here that were really thought out well. Now, even with my ideal version of what the questline could look like, do I think this is worth $7? Hearthfire was 5 bucks when it came out in 2012, and with inflation, that would come to $6 and... 69 cents. So, it would be in the same ballpark as East Empire expansion now. Hearthfire offered a new building system and adoption, with a couple small quests as well. East Empire expansion offers a new business system with several quests. 
and the ability to skip them if you're already Thane. Like I said, this is the kind of gameplay addition that feels like it could really add some value and some much needed variety to a new playthrough of the game. And while I don't plan to make a new playthrough for this specifically, this is the kind of gameplay addition that I want in order to have some more long-term goals for a brand new character. King Gath has already commented that they have plans to tweak the experience to try and make it feel as close as they can to a Bethesda-made DLC. They really want to get more feedback from players and to try and integrate this into the base game as best as they can. I don't necessarily think all of my suggestions could make the cut, but I think something like giving a more structured progression system is achievable through updates. If anything, I think the ongoing support for these paid creations is something that'll be really important, most notably for quest-focused ones such as this. And I think the goal to have creations feel as close to official DLC quality as possible is where this program can succeed. It's the kind of content that I would pay for, not horse armor, houses, and stuff like that. So with this being the first paid creation that I've played, this was a really strong start. To me, this is a creation that can justify its price tag, and were I to do another full playthrough of Skyrim at any point, this is something that I would want to have installed. Unfortunately, because of the new assets, it's not available for PlayStation, but is available for both PC and Xbox. And while creations currently disable achievements, Bethesda has said that they plan to offer these creators an ability to toggle a achievement progress on sometime in early 2024. Now, there's no free mods that add everything, exactly as East Empire expansion does, but there are some mods that aim to do something similar. The first of which is Lawbringer, a mod in which you can claim bandit strongholds after being cleared, letting you claim them for the faction of your choice, including the Empire, Stormcloaks, or for the Jarl of the Hold. And I'm gonna butcher the mod author's name, but the other mods I would recommend come from Skavent, Winstead Mine, and Hell Jargon Farm, both of which have you build up an abandoned location to turn into your own business. You hire workers, rebuild the destroyed property, and earn passive gold. While these mods are not a one-to-one -one replacement for the features or quests in East Empire expansion, they are free alternatives with similar goals and gameplay in mind. As always, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, check out the Patreon or the YouTube memberships. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.